guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Self Love Friday. You know, I realized it was like Wednesday and I was like, man, I got to hurry up and record this. So I'm going to end up getting lazy because work has fallen. I mean, there is a substantial amount of work and I created it. It's my own self economy. I'm no longer waiting for anyone, although this is gonna, it's going to be crazy out there when I go to the next province coming up in about a few days. But uh, I'm going to be documenting that journey, so you guys might want to follow me on Instagram because there's going to be crazy things happening just about everywhere. But anyways, huh, I needed to do this, and I want to do this. Self-love Friday. Let's talk about self-love. It's a conversation about self-love. What is self-love? That means someone who you, you, you love yourself unconditionally. You know, there was, um, I don't know if it was the bang pattern. It was uh, subcoding. So basically, what Mira took me through was me and that unconditional love I had of my mother. It was a specific picture. My mom had short hair. She was beautiful back in the early, what, late 1990s? 1999, 2000. She was holding my little sister. She was probably about five, six, seven at the time. And I remember my mom had a face of content, and I know that picture, and I saw it, of course, online because my sister posted it from time to time, and I absolutely take it. And that made me realize, like, oh, my God, is that a Lambo? I don't know how Lambos get here. I see more Lambos in Thailand than America. What the f- Anyway, so, in saying that, I took a step back, and I said, that's the first time I ever saw my mom very content. And so when Mira's like, think of a photo, a photo that brought you so much love. And that was the first photo that came. And so with subcoding, she literally, that unconditional love I had of my mother, and I still have of my mother of that specific photo, I brought into me. And so then that's when I began loving myself unconditionally, my perfections and my imperfections. It's very important, people, that all the little things about you, and you guys are going to be hearing it on Inspirational Monday uh, coming up real soon, uh, because again, this is going to be about you know a, a little bit of self love, but it's literally taking a step back and saying to yourself, you know what, I uh, you know my, my 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 mocha skin, my wide hips if you have wide hips, my narrow hips if you have narrow hips. The place that I used to work at back in Las Vegas before I came here to Thailand, they would always say, Ew, you're so skinny, you have chicken legs. Yet they were over, they were just completely morbidly obese. And I always kind of fell in that pattern like, oh, I don't belong because I'm skinny, I'm skinny, I'm skinny, I'm skinny. Although everyone in America is overweight, 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 overweight. Not everyone that's listening to my podcast, just hear me out. If you're fit and everything, fantastic. If you're overweight, well, that is a choice that you made. Don't say, oh, well, I got big bones. I never seen a goddamn skeleton with big bones. All right. So in saying that, I remember I was outside. I, pff, man, people made fun of my teeth for such a long time between second grade leading up to uh, some some ridiculous Twitter comments. And of course, black people are the only thing and they are the only folks that they could point out even the littlest things. Uh, and that's when, you know, I actually talked about on some podcasts you guys are probably going to hear soon about, you know, my hair. And how uh, people back in elementary school and back in high school, they talk about my hair. They're like, dude, what happened to your hairline? Oh, my God, your hair, your hair, your hair. I'm like, dude, it's hair. Okay? You have greater things to worry about. It is a tragedy that you are concerned about my hair. I mean, I feel like that is one of the greatest tragedies in the world that the only thing that you're concerned about and the only thing that you could possibly comment on is my hair. There is a greater, there is something seriously wrong right now. And so what I wanted to do is just like focus on the bigger picture thing. Like everything that you guys don't like about yourself, those imperfections make your perfection. Is it your teeth? Is it your skin? Is it your hair? Is it anything? Because I said recently on an Instagram post, I say, God, well, you know, well, of course, Trent Shelton said this. He said, God made you perfect. But what did he say? You are beautifully and wonderfully made. There we go. You're beautifully and you're wonderfully made. Whether you're in, into religion or whether you're into the law, you know, the universe, obviously me being into that. You're, you're wonderfully made. There's no one else on the planet like you. Like, when I started going over um, a bang pattern with Mira, 
And I'm going to be talking about the healing session uh, coming up real soon because I haven't even spoken about that yet. What a tragedy. But when I was doing the bang pattern, she was like, Arsenio, do you remember a moment where you just felt like you were finished? I said, yeah. I said, there had been a couple of times where I saw myself. I, I was looking at myself through my own eyes. It was like a mirror. And you guys are going to see some more Instagram posts coming up very, very shortly because I saw some very tragic photos. Fo- not tragic photos of me, but of reality. Of people not looking in the mirror. And so I remember this photo of me with this very old white shirt, these baggy slacks and these old shoes. And, you know, my hair wasn't cut. I was over here looking over my shoulder to the right, like in in despair, saying to myself, man, I am not enough for these women out here. They hate me. They hate me like they hate me. But then she said, OK, Arsenio, now make a fo- Now I want you to create an image in your mind of who the real Arsenio is. So for some reason, no, it wasn't a scene out of Baywatch, but Christian Keys? Yeah, Christian Keys. He's like, um, what is he? He's like a BET actor, Black Entertainment Television. I know you guys are like, what, you guys have something called BET in America? For everyone else out there who doesn't watch, you know, who's listening to me, who's just like, what? Wait, what? Because there's a lot of countries that listen to me, so I have to point that out. Um, But this guy, like... Like, I call it for how I see it. Like, his pectoralis major. His chest, his abs, his arms, his hair, everything. I'm like, man, that mother- boy, that d- dude is built. That's exactly what I want my physique to look like. And so I took that physique, and then for some reason, I ended up popping up in Brazil. Shout out to my Brazilians, because I know you guys love me, and I love y'all so dearly. Man, I've not, I have not seen these birds before. They are coming around, but they're so cute. Anyways, so I'm like, okay, imagine myself walking on Ipanema Beach out there in Brazil. Okay, Arsenio, how's your hair? Who cares about the hair? You're bald. That's right. You got shades on. And, and Miro's like, okay, give me, give me some adjectives that describe it. And, you know, I just gave her a variety of different adjectives. And she was talking straight into my subconscious mind. Straight into my subconscious mind. And she was cracking me up, but not my conscious mind, but my subconscious mind. Because she was saying, abs for days, quads for days, you're chiseled, all these things. And honestly, you guys are probably thinking like, wait, is is that really something you could do? Yeah, it changed my image. And right after that, there's no more black. Guys, that was at the beginning of April. We're coming up on July. Never have I ever thought about the old picture of me anymore. The old shirt, the me looking just completely dejected on a train while all these uh, Thai women were taking photos of these quote-unquote white men and posted it on a Facebook group, true story, true story, and having thousands of girls like and say, oh my God, low mock, low mock, but never, ever, ever, never have I ever saw a black man on there. And I remember this was like a hot topic like four or five years ago. I don't know if it still exists, but nonetheless, man, it's just, I am, I am real grateful that I was able to go through that. And then with that unconditional love I have of my mother and recreating that image of me, that's who I ended up becoming. And so Whatever it is, like when people say, oh, your hair. Now, people never talk about my skin ever again. No, no, no. And it's funny because I mention it consciously, but it's completely erased subconsciously because I know I'm not a color. I'm from America and I'm whatever I want to be. That's it. You see what I mean? Like, I, 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 there's no such thing as color. I, I don't see color in this world anymore. It's gone. Other people see it. I point it out and say, yeah, well, she believes that about them. And, well, I just have empathy for her. I don't shout people down anymore. No. All the people who did me, you know, seven years ago, six years ago, five years ago, four years ago, best of luck to you. I'm not mad at you because I wasn't that person anyways, what you were saying. See, when you get to that level of consciousness, whoa. And so in taking that and recreating my image... Now I'm able to love every inch of myself because I know my hair doesn't make the entire personality of Arsenio. Arsenio's personality makes Arsenio's personality regardless of how he looks on the outside. Now, 
look going back to that recreation, the Christian Keys body type of stuff. Okay, you guys can look them up. K E Y E S, right? Christian Keys. You guys go, oh my, what? Yeah, I'm like, dude, he's got that chisel, and I need that chisel. So now when I'm in the gym, I just don't stop anymore. I feel the pain, but I just keep going. I just keep going, and now within just less than two weeks. Everything is beginning to build, but I know I'm going to have to some point, at some point, I'm going to have to start doing a bunch of CrossFit, right? Because that's the only way you're going to achieve greatness is by like literally pushing yourself to death, literally to death. But anyways, um, so my question to you for this self-love Friday I had to redefine myself. It took years upon years of people calling me names of all types of things, only to bully me because, again, they had their own insecurities. I have no, 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 I don't have, I'm not going to shout them down and say, oh, you know, you're a motherfucker. No, 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 no. You were exactly who you were for me to become who I am today. And how I went through all these crazy trails of, hell, avalanches and mudslides and whatever you want to call it. It's like climbing up that hill, metaphorically. That mountain I felt like I was on when I finally achieved that job and I was making a solid salary and saving a bunch of money and everything and buying the Herbalife back in 2015. I said, well, okay, so I got a job, I got money, what do I do now? That's going to be another topic for another uh, another day. But um, just just ask yourself. When it comes down to it, guys, are you wholeheartedly, I'm talking wholeheartedly, do you love yourself? Like everything about you. Those perfections and the imperfections make a perfect you. And so what I want you to do is to embrace that. Because, you know, it's a lot of countries. I'm not raining down on anyone's parade, but people get a bunch of plastic surgery. Did you see Kim Kardashian? Before surgery, like back in 05, she was far more beautiful than she is today. She completely altered her facial structure and her body is... Re- oh! It's it's sad. But it's not just her. Look at all of Korea. Those women are beyond beautiful out there. Japan, they're, nor- they're, not, they're not altering their face whatsoever. But Korea, and then they left a huge profound impression on folks out here in Thailand. Because now, Ty, remember the whole injecting the white skin? This is you guys not accepting yourself. Now, if I say, why are you doing that? Oh, because um, I want whiter skin. Okay, why? 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 We're going to go deep and we're going to find your insecurity. Now, if you say, oh, I'm doing this because this is the only way I could get a good job. Well, you got to get the hell out of that trash ass country. I think I've heard that one or two times out here. I can't really remember. But again, employers, yes. They will hire the white tie over the dark tie, just as they hire the white teacher over the dark teacher. Well, guess what? I have a self-sustaining economy, so I can do whatever I want now. How does that make everyone else feel? No, it's not for me to get back at them, but to say, man, that color bullshit, I don't play that. You could play it. You could play that card, but I won't. Guys, love yourself. You were beautifully crafted. Like, you're one out of, what what is it, 400 million, 400 billion, 400 trillion? I forgot what the number is. But do you understand, your mother and your father, don't put the image in your head. Please don't. But they did everything at that perfect time. At that per uh, on that perfect day, that perfect month, that perfect year, that perfect amount. Who knows what that was? Don't even think about it because you'll probably throw up. But then you, with a millions, of, I don't know how many, tens of millions, hundreds of millions, a billion other cells, you penetrated the wall. That's right. You were the fighter among fighters. And you made it through. Love your goddamn self. Because you fought, you're already a one in a billion. Really. So, knowing that, you guys gotta ride this bitch to the wheels fall off. Please. That's all I got for today. Over and out.